Hi everyone, so I'm Chocolate Shotit. I am a photographer and also a retoucher. And I'm young and fabulous. My name is Prince Raymond Ohimin. I'm an Asante. I come from Asante Mampon uh, in Sutakwaman to be precise. I had my high school at uh, Pentecostal Academy, a small school inside uh, Danzuman. And then I had my secondary uh, education at um, a little in uh, Aka Academy, and then the rest was in um, Wesley Grammar. So, yeah, and then um, tertiary, I went to ATU, that's Accra Technical University, and then I also went to NAFTI. Growing up, photography wasn't part of the journey, like, was wasn't part of anything I wanted to do. Not as though I didn't see it as a profession, but I, I, my mind was somewhere else doing something else. I was more of an accounting person. Uh, I wasn't looking at sitting in the office to work. I am, I feel very boring for me. I don't like a, uh, being at one place for a very long time. So I started following productions, you know, shooting stuff. Long story short, I said I would go to Nafti. First of all, I went to Gallywood. I remember very well my mom was so mad at me because she, she always wanted me to focus on being an accountant and she she th she thought that maybe um f doing filming and stuff wouldn't pay off that much so she was always against it but me too i was following it <laughs> the passion was that i was following it in the so i couldn't complete a uh, nafti i bailed out and i was following productions and stuff so fast forward somewhere um 2015 2016 that was where I took a bold step. I was like, you know, I want to do something for me alone because all this while we, we are young um, creatives that we came together. Uh, we have a, someone who shoots, someone who edits, and so, so we came together to form a team. So I was like, this team thing is not helping me. I found myself being pulled back. So in order for me to elevate myself, I just decided to do something different. When I go to set, like, I, have, I always have these small cameras. So when I go to set, even when you're shooting anything, I just take so, small, small pictures. And I was posting on my page. And I didn't know, but people were paying attention to it. But I was just doing it for the fun. So when I was split from the group, I decided to do something for myself. And that was when I started this photography. So I was just thinking, what name should I use? But the name people know me. Now well, people call me with even from level hundred back in uh, uni was chocolate. So everybody calls me chocolate. Everybody calls me chocolate. So most people didn't even know my real name. So when I was starting the photography, but I was like, what name should I use? So first I said chocolate photography, and I got good it. I realized a lot of people have chocolate photography. So I was like, okay, let me use a name that is different from what. I've known and I worked with a um, couple of people so I just asked them some ideas no but the names they gave me I, I wasn't feeling it but I know this um, Nigerian director called um, Clarence shot it so Clarence Peter's name shot it I was like okay Clarence is in Nigeria but he's a videographer I'm in Ghana here I'm a photographer let me use let me take the shot it and add it to my so I was like okay chocolate shot it and that's how the name came. Chocolate. It was given to me by a lady. So there was this lady that we were very close. We were very good friends. I'm saying where because now I don't know where she is. <laughs> it's been a long time. So those days in school, she used to tease me and call me, hey, my chocolate, hey, my chocolate. So that name became, like, it became a name. Like, everybody, hey, chocolate, chocolate. So that's how the name came. Like, it wasn't something that I sat down. I was like, let me call myself chocolate or something. Someone started the agenda. Someone was calling me chocolate, like very constant. Chocolate, chocolate. It became a name. <laughs> and I had no other option because everybody calls me chocolate. So then I was like, okay, fine. The name is good. <laughs> I double as a um, um, portrait photographer and also a wedding photographer. But aside that, I do other um, niches of photography. I do food. I do. Um, a lot like most of the general photographies i do you understand but 
for now i focus much on the weddings and then the portraits sometimes people ask so um do you do other new shoots and other stuff so uh if it pays good i'll do it that ghana here we you know we frown on nudity and other stuff so when you're a photographer and you specialize in let's say only news and stuff uh, i don't think you make much of money maybe you'll be doing it as a hobby or something then that is a full-time job i'm not here to do anything as a hobby <laughs> i always say that uh, when it comes to um boudoir shots it it takes a high level of um restraint um creativity and then also how you bend light you know the nakedness of a lady is a different level and it is an art that you you you, you can you can easily draw but you have to be able to draw it properly when you are shooting you understand and it is beautiful when you take those images though people look at it i look at it with a professional eye when i see uh, these good pictures i see arts that where people say hey she's naked and stuff and you know ghana here we found much on it so sometimes it is not a gig that if i do i would love to push it out i do push them out but not like often often because some brands too when they see do these kind of images on your page they deter a little from your brand yeah so it doesn't really matter. what type of general of photography won't i do i won't shoot funeral i don't shoot funerals no matter how much you are paying me i won't shoot it's personal to me i i don't feel okay when i'm doing that and something i'm not feeling okay to do i won't do it because I need all the energy. When you take a picture, there are a lot of emotions embedded in that image. And you can't execute good images when you have zero emotions embedded in that image. So that is a general photography I wouldn't do. When it comes to wedding, it's a rare time event. It can't be repeated. So as a wedding photographer, you have to be very attentive and you have to be ready to move or ready to shoot at any given second any given second and that is why wedding photography is as expensive as compared to other genres because you are working in real time and nothing will be repeated if you miss the shot you miss it and you have to be very very like i said you have to be very attentive every second so every moment you have to capture and capture it well maybe afterwards the exclusives that's where you can put a bride here do this do that do that but when the ceremony is going on you have to be very attentive know where and how you have to be at the right place at the right time to capture the right angle so the angle changes and stuff and you find yourself all over the place within one minute instant so you have to make sure that um their moments are well captured there are some key elements you can't miss because these are the shot that um, signifies or gives them the final verdict that they are married for example their vows their unveiling putting on a ring um, some uh, petty, petty petty things you cannot do without them because these are the elements in the ceremony that um authenticates that they are married on my package, I have my highest as $10,000, $7,000, down to 10,000 Ghana cities. Sometimes it goes beyond that when um, it is realized that uh, whatever the client is about to do is demanding and we have to increase certain things. Let's see the number of photographers, the number of images and number of days are we traveling outside our accommodation and all those stuff comes to play you understand so that is how my rate card goes the good moments i was uh, i would say it was a it was a it was a wedding in dubai and i love that particular wedding though it was a private wedding but i love the treat these are people i know from nowhere they're not even Ghanaians, but the treat was so welcoming everything was classy it's a vibe we, we 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 played more than we even worked it started from the hotel to the yacht and it was beautiful it was so beautiful 
And to talk of the bad one, the bad memory, I have a few, but I'll share one. Um, that one has to do with a wedding that ended before it started. <laughs> uh, a wedding that ended before it started. It, it, it ended before it started because... Um, so, just like any other wedding, we start with the bridal prep where the bride will do her, do the hair, do the makeup. So we've done that. We took shots in the rope and other stuff. So the bride was about to change into her gown. Mostly when it happens that, uh, that way, we have to uh, excuse them from the room for them to change in this name. It was a big hotel, big room. There a lot of bridesmaids. The bride was there. She was, she was a vibe. It was like we've been vibing since before she even came to Ghana because she's from the UK. So we talked a lot. So when she came, it was a vibe. So I stepped out for them to change into her gown. The man has already left to the church. There was supposed to be a, a garden wedding. Yeah, so he has already left to the garden. And I learned he was even seated because my I was communicating with my guys who were with the groom. He was seated. So we were waiting for the bride to finish dressing and then we'll take images. And like 40 minutes getting to an hour, the bride didn't come. Come out. But I saw one lady. I remember her from the bachelorette party. But I didn't see her as part of the bridesmaids. But that period i saw her enter the bride's room so we're waiting we're waiting so i just went to knock on the door and then the planner opened and then he was like the bride was like who is it and then she was like it's chocolate it was like, oh let him come then i entered and she has cried like the whole makeup meshed up like so i was like what's wrong then the other lady i see i said i i remember her from the bachelorette party i saw her the, like she was saying something i don't know whether it's swahili she was speaking she was speaking something but as a bride what's wrong what's wrong he said chocolate come and sit beside me so i sat beside her and then she showed me a video on her phone and i think it was the husband to be did something one or two be <laughs> the night i don't know there's a night before i think within that uh, time frame and i don't know why the lady came to show her the video i i still feel indifferent about it i don't know whether i should blame the lady for for coming to show her the video or she came to save a friend i don't know i was very indifferent about it but that was where the wedding ended so Apparently, the, 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 the lady, the husband-to-be, had a thing with... It's also part of the bridesmaid, so... It became a fight. I mean, they wanted to... They had to go and lock that girl in the washroom, you know? <laughs> it was very dramatic. And then the planner has to let us... Um, they said the bride said we should delete all the images and all videos before we leave that place. She didn't want any drama or any news coming out. She's okay. She's lost. And then... then, then Food, food was already there. Everything was there, Charlie. But we have to go home. A picture that uh, had uh, had uh, was most talked about. Uh, a lot of pictures I take are being talked about. I'm just trying to place my mind on one. I can play a lot. I can't place my mind on one. I can't place my mind on one. But there was there was one that. I remember a lot because it's like something that was unplanned. So um, it was it was just one day. I just I went to town with my girlfriend, okay, my ex. Then and then um, we just went to the studio, and it was almost Val's day. It was almost Val's day, so we just went to the studio, and then I was I was like, ah, I want to create this image i don't know i just have it on my like it's on my mind it keeps ringing i want to create that image and then she was like ah, but you don't shoot these kind of things i was like no this one is just for bowsy let's just, i just want to shoot something take off your tra and tie your uh, pull up your dress and tie it at the back and then i took a picture 
that picture was talked about a lot just that you didn't know who is in the picture but it's a picture from here from her chest to her tie that is all and i saw it in a lot of places i still see it and it was fun because it was not planned it was just me working i was like you know what take off your trial let's take a picture and that was it yes i feel very fulfilled i i, I can't be ungrateful <laughs> i feel very fulfilled though where i want to be i i feel i'm getting closer but fulfilled of course it's it's not um photography is not um, um a profession i would say i i am doing and i don't like it or i don't i regret doing it now nah. very fulfilled if i was to swap professions uh i'll be a pilot i pilot drone a lot like i pilot drone very well and i think it's something about me like when it comes to flying just <laughs> I do it with ease um people learn how to fly drone i never learned it i just bought a drone and then i was just flying it and even now i do um fpv drones and stuff and it's it's just something i do so if i want to or i maybe there's a chance for me to swap uh, professions i think i'll be a pilot well as a photographer i think for me moment that i'm most proud is when i'm shooting mostly in the studio you know photography is drawing with light i take much um happiness when my first shot comes out clean it means that however i pictured the image how i placed the lights came true as in whatever i wanted you know so mostly is in the studio mostly it's in this in the studio i just look at the lab like okay let me put this light here put this light here put this here and then i'll change the frequencies and the, the powers and other stuff and then boom it's with what i was looking for so those moments i feel like i know what i'm doing i really know what i'm doing and that's my proud moment yeah there was a lot now i think it's I, I stop people from not meeting me. <laughs> I feel if money is not back in that world, I'll go for it. Yes. There was a lot. Uh, uh, some international, I, I don't remember them, but I've had a couple of awards that I think um, any top photographer in Ghana here, you should have those awards. Yeah, and yeah, let's go. Oh, <laughs> don't do it. They make they maybe yeah i mean people do tell me the way you like nikon i think nikon should make an ambassador because everything and all my students end up using nikon even if they are they were using other brands before they come to understanding me they end up buying uh, the nikon camera because nikon is a good brand when it comes to whatever you want to achieve if you know how to play with the camera it is very easy to achieve solid images with it yeah I find it difficult working with other uh, cameras. Not because I've not tried. I've tried other cameras, but I realize Nikon is very friendly than the other um, uh, cameras. To me, it is friendly. Somebody will have another um, opinion when it comes to type of cameras, but me, Nikon all the way. <sighs> the challenges when I started the it, i mean i i i never thought of it being a smooth road so the challenges were cool to me personally i come from a family where there's a little or no cheerleading going on so i'm always up with my survival instinct i'm like anything that is coming to me i'm ready for it no matter how hard it's coming you understand that's how i go um the difficulties were a lot i mean this is a guy who had nothing and now i want to do photography i remember even how i bought my first camera was very crazy i mean moment that inspires me to be who i am today i will say they are the beginning moments in my career where i was doing great jobs but i was using small equipment to achieve great jobs i those days i would leave my house I'll pick a trotsky i'll go maybe um 
there's a red carpet going on somewhere. Sometimes I don't even have a tag. I have to lobby, 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 and I'll enter. I just get on the red carpet and you see a lot of photographers with big cameras, big lenses, and the ladies are posing for their shots and stuff. And sometimes when you bring out your camera, nobody wants to even pose for you. <laughs> you understand? But I try my possible best to get the celebrities. So those days I used to do that. I'll go, I'll go on the red carpet for free. I just go in for the celebrities when they come to the red carpet. Oh, let me take a picture of you. Then you stand there, then Right from there, I just ran back home whilst maybe others are sleeping up, just edit the images so well. And then early in the morning, I'll be the first to post. And then I'll have everyone coming to my DM for their images because I'll take my time, take wild shots of you, I'll come home, I'll sacrifice my sleep, and I'll edit it so well, perfectly, and I'll come and deliver on the, on the internet, then I'll just day back. You didn't pay me, so you can't come and attack me much for pictures. You know that I did it for free. So I just put it down there, and then the, the celebs will come. Oh, I like the images. Some will send me money. Some will just ask for it. I mean, I was just happy that people love what I was, I was doing. You understand? So they end up posting my images instead, and then they tag me, and then I started getting the recognition. Like people started getting to know, okay, chocolate and that stuff. And these are some of the things that pushes me to do more sometimes when i take a picture i i went to nigeria i went to some studios i saw some images of mine they framed and i was happy sometimes you go to our celebs their houses and your pitch, pictures that you took of them they framed in their room it means that um it was a good one you understand that is why they have framed these images and then they put in their rooms and you see your images in, on uh, bbc news sometimes cnn other other platforms and then you go like wow i've reached <laughs>